Lecture 2, Setting up the environment and creating your first API for clinic management system. Welcome, my dear friends, to this lecture in which we will explain all concepts without complexity and in a clear manner. In this lecture, we'll guide you through setting up your development environment and creating your first API using ASP.NET Core Web API with .NET 8. This lesson will also cover how to install the clinic management system and configure it for development, providing you with the necessary tools and knowledge to build scalable, maintainable, and high-performance APIs. Learning Objectives By the end of this lesson, students will be able to Remember the steps to set up the ASP.NET Core Web API environment using Visual Studio 2022. Understand the purpose of each component in an ASP.NET Core Web API project, including controllers, models, middleware, and configuration files. Apply the knowledge to create and configure a new ASP.NET Core Web API project for a clinic management system, analyze the structure of an ASP.NET Core Web API project, focusing on key files like program.cs and appsettings.json. Evaluate the setup to ensure it meets requirements for building scalable APIs. Create a functional clinic management API ready for testing with Swagger. Lecture content. Step 1. Setting up the development environment in Visual Studio 2022. Install Visual Studio 2022. Go to Visual Studio website. And download Visual Studio 2022 from the Visual Studio website. I have the version installed on the device. I will just show you how to install the version on the device. Anyway, after you download it, when you open the Visual Studio installer for the first time, a setup configuration window will appear. This window is designed to set up a few initial configurations before the main installation process begins. Select the options as you see fit and it's up to you exactly what you want. To create a new ISP.NET Core Web API project, open Visual Studio 2022. Go to create new project. From the search box, search for ASP.NET Core API. Select the ASP.NET Core Web API template. Name your project, example, Clinic Management API, and set a location to save it. Select .NET 8 as the target framework and click Create to initialize the project. Of course, this is just an example to explain the basics of the system. In the next lesson, we will build the project in detail, but do not ignore the matter, as this explanation is necessary to understand the basics. 3. Install essential NuGet packages. In Solution Explorer, right-click the project and select Manage NuGet packages. Install the following packages. Microsoft Entity Framework Core for database management. Microsoft dot entity framework core dot SQL server for SQL server integration. Swashbuckle dot asp net core to enable Swagger, 
a tool for interactive API documentation. Step 2. Understanding the project structure and clinic-specific configuration. Controllers folder. This folder contains the controllers responsible for handling API requests. For a clinic management system, you would create controllers to handle requests related to clinic-specific entities like patients, appointments, and doctors. Example controller. Okay, let's now quickly build a controller. called patient then put in a function api controller this attribute indicates that the class is an api controller which simplifies routing and model validation route api controller specifies the route template where controller is replaced by the controller name, patient controller, to form API I patient, get all patients, a sample method that handles HTTP get requests, returning a list of patients. To models folder, here we create a folder called models. defines the data structure for the API, representing clinic-specific entities like patient, doctor, or appointment. Example model. Let us create a class called patient. This class will contain the properties of the patient. Add a unique identifier for the patient. Name, the patient's name. Date of birth, stores the date of birth of the patient. Medical history, contains any relevant medical history data. Program.cs, this file configures essential services and middleware for the application. Var builder and web application .create builder arcs. This line creates a web application builder object that sets up services and configurations for the application. Builder.services.addController adds support for controllers, enabling the use of MVC-style routing in the API. Adds Swagger for generating API documentation, which allows testing and exploration of API endpoints via a web interface. Builds the application, making it ready to handle incoming HTTP requests. App.uses Swagger and app.uses Swagger UI. Enable Swagger middleware, making the Swagger UI accessible for testing API endpoints. Configures authorization for the application, ensuring that access to resources can be restricted based on user roles or permissions. Sets up routing for controller actions, mapping each controller's route template to the appropriate HTTP endpoints. Start the application and listens for incoming HTTP requests. AppSettings.json The AppSettings.json file is used to store configuration data such as database connection strings and logging information. Example configuration. We will need to add a database connection statement. Connection strings holds the connection string for the SQL Server database used by Clinic DB context. Logging configures logging levels, determining which messages are recorded by the application. Example information, warnings. Step three running and testing the clinic management API. In Visual Studio 2022, press F5 or go to debug, start debugging to start the project.
Access Swagger for API testing. When the project runs, Visual Studio will open a browser window with the Swagger UI at Swagger provides a web interface to explore and test the API endpoints. You can see each route, its available methods, example, get, post, and input output data structures. Conclusion and evaluation. In this lesson, you successfully set up the development environment using Visual Studio 2022, configured and created an ASP. Netcore Web API project specifically for a clinic management system. Explored the project structure, including controllers, models, and middleware with a clear understanding of each code segment. Tested the API using Swagger to validate the setup. Evaluation questions. On, can you explain the purpose of each code component in the ASP.NET Core Web API project? Two, were you able to create and run the API project using Visual Studio 2022? Three, did you successfully test the API using Swagger? Next steps. In the next lesson, we'll dive into HTTP methods and routing to implement CRUD operations for clinic data. You'll learn how to create fully functional endpoints for managing patients, appointments, and other clinic-specific entities progressing toward a complete clinic management API. We hope you understand well and see you in the next lecture. Goodbye, my dear friends.